Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy here to have devotions with you this morning and excited to share with you what God has been doing in my life. I've been reading through the Psalms again in my own devotions, and I came across Psalm chapter 57 and wanted to read a verse to you. Psalm 57 verse 5 says, Be exalted, O God, above the highest heaven. May your glory shine over all the earth. Man, <laughs> be exalted above the highest heaven. We should be lifting God up. And I thought, you know, in the world we live in today, there's a lot of doubts about God. People are having a lot of doubts and, and people are even turning from God because of their doubts about him. Church attendance, of course, with COVID and all the things going on is on the decline. But even the numbers that we're seeing is that across the nation by some, st some church statisticians are saying that even 50% of people who attend church regularly before COVID are not even watching their own church services now. People are just getting comfortable. We're not seeing God for who he really is. And, and because of that thing, we get just, we begin to slide. We begin to, to, to forget. And we just, we're not respecting God like we should. We're not lifting him up. We don't have confidence. We're turning from him. And it's probably because We've reduced God and many times just, just an hour on Sunday for most of our life. That that's where we are a Christian is at church and that he isn't really the God of Isaiah in our life. That he, Isaiah saw him high and lifted up. We don't, we don't see God like that. So we don't have confidence in him. Because we reduce him, we don't have confidence in him. Because confidence is required for respect and respect is required for worship. So how can I worship a God that I don't have confidence in? I mean, even in church, worship is its impacted by how we see God. If we see God as just something for Sundays or just our thing that we do, then of course we're going to complain about things at church that we don't like because we all know what's better and we all know the best way to worship God. And we all, you know, everybody's an armchair quarterback. Well, you know, that's not, that, that's not because we're seeing things. That's because we're not focusing on God. If our focus was on him, we wouldn't be focused on a bunch of little things that we don't like. But God doesn't, God, you know, God doesn't need us. God doesn't need you and God doesn't need me. He allows me to be a part of his plan and he allows me to come in to, to see his work. And it's kind of like the story I've told about Gabe, um, my son. He's, he's getting older now. The dude's almost as tall as I am. He's only 13 years old, but I'll never forget we were living in Kentucky and we had a, a nice yard there and a push mower. I'll never forget the first day Gabe wanted to come out and help me mow. Just a little dude, couldn't even push the mower on his own. So what I did is let him stand right in front of me and he put his hands on the, the bar and I had my hands on there and we walked slowly together. And I did it with him. And you know, you'd have thought that Gabe, I mean, the way he was acting, that he had mowed the whole yard himself and he was just on cloud nine. Did I need my son to do that? No. Could I have done it faster and better without him? Probably. But you know what I did was allow him to be a part of it and allowed him to get the praise and allowed him to just feel like he had really accomplished something. And I think that's the way God is with us. He doesn't need us, but he allows us to be a part of his plan. And, and then he praises us the whole time. I, I kept praising Gabe, man, you're doing a great job, son. I'm so proud of you. I love you. And, and God is the same way. He blesses us while we serve him. And even though he doesn't need us, we get to be a part of it. And when we start seeing God for who he is, we're not going to be able to stop having confidence in him. We're going to see him as God. We're, we're, and that's going to overflow and outflow as a respect for him. We're going to really respect God for who he is because we've got a picture of who he is. And worship is going to be a natural response when we see God for who he really is and have confidence in him. We can, we're not going to be able to help but worship him. I wonder if that's the way we act. I wonder if that's the way you and I act every day. Do we really worship God every day? Are we, as Psalm 57 verse 5 says, Be lifted up, O God, above the highest heavens. May your glory shine above the earth. Are we exalting Him? Are we lifting God up every day? Are we focused on Him? Is He at the center of our life? We shouldn't be doubting God. I mean, the person we should be doubting is us. <laughs> We're the ones who get messed up. I, it reminds me of something my dad told me when I was young, when I was struggling with some decisions. He said, Andy, never doubt in the dark what God showed you in the light. 
and dark times are going to come and we're in the middle of some dark times. I know many people have been impacted by this COVID and, and we can't get out and do the things we want and having to wear masks everywhere and all this. And it'd be so easy for us to focus on the negative. It'd be so easy for us that in this dark time, I know many have lost loved ones and I mean, I did four funerals a couple of weeks ago and another two this coming up and, and all with all of this, it'd be so easy for us to just, God, where are you at? Are you really God? Are you, are you really powerful? Why, uh, why didn't you step in? Why didn't you do these things that so we can begin to doubt him and slip away just because of some circumstances and some dark times in our life? But instead of doing that, let's keep our focus on him. God knows what's best. His way is perfect. His thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. He's higher than us. Are we lifting him up? Psalm 57, 5. Be exalted, O God, above the highest heavens. May your glory shine over all the earth. Let's lift God up and worship him for who he is today. I hope you'll get into God's word. I hope you'll read it for yourself and see what he has for you. And until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.